Hello everyone, welcome back to Fable Heyman Age of Wonders, or the Witch Beast of the Dread Master of the Shire has a long journey ahead of him to prove that he is worthy to stand beside his dark master Sauron, and there are many opponents who would see us fail. But not Galadriel. Galadriel is our friend, the last of the elves of Lothlorien, a chivalrous diplomat who is number one in strength. Why does she like me? I couldn't tell you. But war is brewing between the oldest Tom Bombadil, who I have been informed was actually a self-insert from Professor Tolkien himself. Thank you for that little tidbit of knowledge. And to our north, the betrayer, Palando, who has actually threatened to declare war on me. So we'll, we'll see what happens. But first things first, we're heading back to base to clean up this mess and secure our lands as twere. For the first time, actually, I think in any brutal playthrough, I'm first in expansion might. I did say I would aggressively expand, and I aggressively expanded. Perhaps too aggressively. But we'll see. We'll see. I've already named our cities. Of course, the Shire is where most hobbits dwell. But... There's still Breland and Buckland, and one more place so that I totally remember. We'll grab a research post on top of the Silver Junk Fruit. We are waiting to expand for this because I was prepared. Sort of. Kind of. But gold continues to be our limiting factor. And now it's, now it's mana as well. That's okay. We have a mana obelisk coming in to fix that problem. You know what? We'll boost it because I'm impatient. I also would like some knowledge. I'm a big enjoyer of knowledge because we have a lot of research to do and not a whole lot of time to do it. So let's get back to defending our lands. No one saw that. We are approaching the best Imperium trait in the game. We'll get there. We'll get there. But speaking of knowledge... We can go ahead and pop the right of forbidden knowledge to instantly gain a whole bunch of knowledge. And I'm a big fan. Should I have gone for the other orb? Maybe. Possibly. Considerably. Ah, yes. We have an exploration snow spirit that I'm going to destroy so that I have mana. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I bet this is elementals. No. Okay. Fair enough. You do you. Does that mean this is also? Oh, oh. I had a dream. So we have this little scout over here doing something. Um, now that we have met all the players, I think we're just going to let our scouts auto. And follow their dreams. Because unlike barbarian scouts from the last playthrough, I cannot create my own outpost. So, you know, we're stuck with whatever we got. We have the second army building, even though we do not have... Unfortunately, a second hero. You should the rally of legions from the target vassal have servile. Now, this is an interesting trait. Because it's going to be quite difficult for us to use. But we'll see if we can make something magical happen. I'm more interested in this knowledge. Infinitely so. And the succubus. That sounds fun. Who doesn't love support units? Hmm. Shall we? It would be funnier to keep moving. I have big plans for our research, but I promise to use the mod. Will grab a succubus. There was a comment that was like, I wish her Galadriel isn't a succubus. And it, she kind of meets the definition. But, um... She's not, unless she becomes one, which is possible. That was our knowledge. Friendship between Denethor II and Galadriel. You are desperate for friends, are you not, Galadriel? I think we'll chill. Just keep on keeping on. I want a hero soon, and I want a fairy soon. All of our forces must come together and unite. And soon I'll be able to move through my territory freely using the power 
of advanced logistics. My poor farm. How could you do this to me? But we can finally catch this one. The first of many to fall. This is just night guard, so we can probably let that slide. Indeed we can. We even caught one. We're going to dismiss. Oh, the, uh, the nymph. That's right. The nymph joined us. A creature of nature has joined the destroyer. For fun. Of course. She wishes to see the world, and I will show it to her. No one says she's going to like what she sees, but I'll show it to her. Sure, why not? Hmm. Should we go looking for Blinty Boy? Okay, that's not Blinty Boy. That, I think, is a free city. Or it could be Kamul. Isn't he to the north, though? How far away from home are you, Gamul? The would-be Witch King. I say would-be. He did become the Witch King after the fall of our first master. Eh, I don't care. You're angering me, Witch Beast. Are you going to declare on me? You keep saying you're going to. But I have moderate justification, and you do not. In fact, I could declare on you just as a source of Imperium income. And that might not be a terrible idea. Might not. Might not. Do I have a vassal? I think I do, right? One second. Maybe. Ah, I'm, I will soon. I will soon. I'm beating out Galadriel, so I don't need to get any Imperiums. In fact, why don't we take the Court of Whispers? The diplomatic focus, because it's 25 Imperium cheaper. And we'll give this to our Tier 4 friend. It were absolutely going to befriend because he hates Palondo. I, I too hate Palondo. Okay, fine. Let's cheat and make them like us. Ah, okay. I couldn't even cast Covenant Shadows. Be on it. Now, let's just have a 30 gold upkeep, which is kind of annoying. But, um... Hopefully soon, we'll rectify our gold situation by the continuous expansion of our great cities, like Buckland. See? Buckland's ready to expand and go underground. Is this in my town? This isn't my town. What can't I see down here? Hmm? I don't know. Well, let's not interfere with the Shire's expansion. I don't think there's anything out here. So, we have a farm that's ruined. I'd like a second farm. Oh, I have a second farm once I rebuild this. Does that mean I need a forester? I believe it does. You know, a great place to find a forester in the water. Ooh. Something going on there. Alrighty. Foul demons. You've captured a Sunder. We'll dismiss it. The nymph is going hard. Which I suppose isn't that surprising. It's what nymphs do. She even tried. Tried, mind you. To get me. Could you imagine? Hmm. Not I. I think what will happen is once this farm is repaired, this will be cut in half. In fact, maybe I should wait until it is. Get the library. It is very unfortunate having no gold. None. This can expand. Soon you will have a governor, I promise. Well, soon enough. Now, everything here is pretty much boosted, which is fantastic. But it could be better. 
get a full roster of our own. Now, as we are the Dark Culture, we can ignore the economic penalties that we face. However, that does not necessarily mean that I'm free to just let it all collapse, you know? Can I diggy diggy this? Are we starting our diggy diggy journey already? I can diggy diggy this. Cool. Summon Succubus is in the Iron Grip. Hmm. So the Iron Grip here basically gives me the benefits of my culture, which is interesting. But I also gain five gold and five draft for each city's ability, a level above a neutral. Currently, I don't possess that. So it is much better for me to try and get Dissonant Whispers. The target enemy unit fumbles its attack for one turn, suffers two status vulnerability, and will pass. Which is fantastic. Now, unfortunately, I'm still broke. I consider you my friend, Dread Master Witchbeast. Together, we shall prosper. Ah, Galadriel, even in my times of struggle, you are a light in this dark world. Unfortunately for you, <laughs> you better believe I'm declaring friendship with her. Now, unfortunately, I do have... This means I have two packs going right now, which is a little problematic. But don't worry. We'll figure it out. Going into this, I probably would not have believed you if you told me that Galadriel would be my one ally. Because after all, Dane Ironfoot, Denethor II, Camul, Palando, all four of these assholes have scions of evil, and none of them want to be my friends. Before negotiations with Rivergate resumes, Bexton Hillcrest greets you. He is flanked by two guards holding a malnourished man in chains. Bexton Hillcrest bears his teeth with an unsettling grin. To honor your might, I offer you this gift for our mutual entertainment. We caught this miscreant trespassing, wandering into my private forest. Private forest. The prisoner scoffs and prepares to object, but a quick punch to the gut from the duke knocks the wind out of him. The fire in his eyes, however, remains. Bexton Hillcrest's eyes meet yours in sinister anticipation. This prisoner's fate is yours to decide, O oh dread master. Well, well, well. Who's Uroth? I don't know. The flame of Uru. And a skeleton. And packed of loyalty instantly. So I'd love to do the shadow thing. But um, the sacrifice does what this does, but with twice the amount of allegiance. And I don't want a skeleton. Not yet, anyway. Not until the overhaul that's coming in the Primal Fury. Well, the wolf update alongside the Primal Fury. But we're still a little bit away. I have time to finish this series, don't I? Don't I? Anyway, sacrifice him in Sauron's name. That boosted us immediately to the next pact. And... Ooh. Ooh. Who's your over... Uh oh Well... We're immediately over here into the Pact of Loyalty, and we'll be a vassal in five turns. Poor you. Dover effin Kraz. My voice cracked. Let's not talk about it. Um, time. It's taking time. Can I cooperate with you? I can. Well, you want to give me your Rainbow Clover? What am I missing? I'm missing one thing for this. And it's the Rainbow Clover. Now, I believe... I'll get this the moment he becomes a vassal, but this is worth it. Because for 10 turns, I prematurely have the effect of Imperial Essence, which is one of the best magic material bonuses to get early. This was magnifique. 
I'd say calculated, but let's be honest. Ooh. I haven't calculated anything in this way, though. We're just letting it ride. We're letting fate take us where it will. Can you not enter? You cannot. Okay. As we build more roads for our great empire. Let this thrall. Take this. Come, join me. Your troops engage and we attack. You know, Nymph, I wouldn't have minded if you wanted to pick up a, a little spoder there. They evolve, you know? Pretty cool. Maybe it's time for a black market. I'm feeling a black market. So if I wanted to make a black market, where would we make it? It currently... So it possesses no benefits for being near something. Let's plop it down there. Buckland has produced a library, but of course, I'm broke. Spell's ready to cast. Shall we make a suck? We'll make a suck, you guys. Okay. Give them the suck. Our scouts are moving. Moving where, though? I know not. I know only that they're taking the freaking ever. It's fine. Totally fine. Calm. Collected. Definitely not afraid of Palondo and his potential wrath. Huh. Good. Good. The Palando. I should have made I should have made that Alatar just so that would have made more sense. The Art of War. Our first accessory. Fantastic. 31 turns in and we get my first accessory. You'll love to see it. Now we're making our way downtown. By which, of course, I mean this. And I'll grab this along the way. More wonders. Hello. Count Olekin of the Zero of the Free City, Bolsoncraft, greets you with a nod. Greetings, Dread Master. Witch beast, your culture intrigues us, and we believe a cooperation could benefit us all. Do you believe so? It would appear that you're about to ally yourself with the dwarf. Which is fine, the dwarf serves the same master as I, but I can't help but feel disappointed. But worry not. One day, you'll see the error. Uh, uh oh. Hmm. Curious. A defensive pact was made between Blint, the Under Crusader, and Galadriel. Now, see, this is an alliance I saw coming. I expected this. Ha. Huh. Well, we'll be fine, right? I'm not saying I'm going to use Galadriel as a depository. But I am greatly considering it. No, 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 no. Galadriel has all the gold in the world. And I have all the items in the world. Now, of course, by doing this, I am decreasing the efficacy of my horde. But let's be honest. Some of these items, it would take 60 turns for them to... Give me 60 gold. I would like to retain some of the higher quality stuff, though. Remember, the Horde's income per turn is determined entirely based off of its worth. I should have gotten these first. Just get them all, it's fine. Make that number... In fact, we'll wait on the teleporter. I can't give them miscellaneous information. Is there anyone else who will talk to me? The Dwarf! Of course, the Dowie! Will speak... Nope. Will speak no more. He will shut his crazy little trap. What could you expect of one enthralled by the dragon's curse? We may not be so different after all, witch beast. Are you sure about that? Hmm. 
You're angering me, witch beast. I'm warning you. As you keep going like this, I will see an end to your reign. Right? Yeah. Well, you think befriending Rivergate will help secure your path to victory. It will be my empire. It rises above all. Great. Well, it seems pretty clear to me who will be our first opponent. After all, I already have major war justifications. It's probably a world where I drag Galandriel into that shit. Now that would be entertaining. Hmm. Settling near Blondo was the best thing I ever did. Okay, I finally have the funds to make some magic happen. It'll be great. And I can summon a succubus. Let's take a look at the model. It's a pretty good model. I believe this is a combination of some of the champion mystic gear. The demonkin's, like, wings and tail, but on foot. Not bad. Not bad at all. So she has a Shadow Blast, which is a 10 Frost attack, which is very low, even for a support. But uh, it has a 9% chance to inflict Distracted and deal additional damage for each friendly Servile unit in battle up to plus 14 Frost damage. That'd be pretty spicy. Seduce. So we have another Nymph attack. And Mind Whip. Target friendly non-hero unit sustains 12 Frost damage and regains its AP. Now, of course... I could use this on anybody, but I could also use it on a summon, I think. We'll find out. That's my thinking with that. Worst case scenario is whip these archers into shape, you know what I mean? What do you mean you already fired your shots for Sauron? There is no rest. No respite for the wicked. And speaking of the wicked, let us recruit our first champion. We can't have a rat. Now that would be a little spicy. What are what are our halfling choices? Panache, magical caretaker. That could be okay. We will have quite a lot of magical caretakers, or excuse me, magical origin units, in a wee bit. Swift and fleeting, and plague bear. Ugh. Well then. Why can't you be great like these characters, hmm? Why must you be terrible? What if I'd be spicy? I think Matro Death would be the spiciest because then we could kind of cheese out some Imperium. But let us stick to our kind. We shall have the Dark Eyed lead a few champions. Now, of course, we need to deal with what we've got. Which is not much. Not much at all. I did just sell the orb, didn't I? Prevent the ability to ignore a zone of control and prevents you from being flanked. That seems pretty good. Yes, be noble. And have the golden wyvern mount. Well, that's interesting. Oh, let's reset. Probably, you know what? Let's do some support stuff. Vigor. Inspiring leader. Defensive. How this thing could be inspiring is beyond me, but... She knows the ways of leading her people. Ooh, a dark ritual. Uh, nothing great here, but we will take Assassin, of course. And the bigger of the city shall have a... Va oh, they're both seven. But we'll give this a governor. It has a magical material and it has a fountain. There you go. Have a governor. Uh, go for the granary. How are we doing in the capital city? We're building this black market up and we're expanding ever onward. 
I need to go. Gold, 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 gold. More gold for me. Okay. You know, now that I think about it. I might want to build... No, that. Obviously. But I want to build the black market everywhere. That seems like a good idea. Oh, I can't attack this turn. That's fine. I give him a turn to heal. We'll respond to a hero later. Go away. Wow, already at Dark Vigor. I do want Seed Spank. Do I want it now, though? You know what? We'll take it now. Tom Bombadil has withdrawn to the Astral Void. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Galadriel's friendship with Denethor II has ended, and Palando has betrayed me. Here's what I would say if we had any relationship whatsoever. That hurts, doesn't it? That that hurts. I don't know where I'm going. Um, I was kind of exploring underground with you. But perhaps, mayhaps. Oh, knowledge. Actually, I believe that's a cartographer tent. This should be an overwhelmingly easy battle. Indeed, not even the Thrall perished. Perish the thought, little Thrall. Perish the thoughts. Alright, let's get some support stuff. The Dread Beast, too, can inspire his people. I would like to take all this while we're here. I mean, I'm here, you know? We'll take one turn of replenishment. And then we'll, uh, get to work. Isn't it Whispers is in, and it is time for our second Tier 2 tome. And I have an idea. Oh boy, do I have a scheme for you. Now, Misfortune is actually being buffed in the next patch, so I'm going to not take this. I thought about it. It crossed the mine. Revelry, always a good time. I take it every playthrough, basically. But there's a tome I haven't taken in a long time. The Tome of Winds. We haven't seen this since the Olaway playthrough, and it's been buffed since then. High above the petty machinations of mortals lies the domain of the sky. Here, the winds flow wild and free, unfettered by the land below, uncaring, powerful. Those who manage to bend these winds to their will harness a truly powerful and liberating force. Foes are swept away, plucked from safety, and allies are buoyed, bolstered beyond their land-bound capabilities. So I showed off the Tome of Winds in the Olay playthrough just for the lulls, and because the Zephyr Archer is incredible. Also, the Zephyr Archer was, kind of is, the only reason to get this tome. It's the best part about it. And I have some archer ideas that will uh, make an appearance. But of course, Abducting Cyclone, Cyclone was also buffed. It now pulls the closest enemy within three hexes to target empty hex, and they have a 90% chance of becoming stunned, which is incredible. So we'll lock Abducting Cyclone, and we'll start the long process of researching the Zephyr Archer. Well, it's time to start building the stability things, because we are unstable. Not mentally unstable. I mean, that might be true as well, but... Especially unstable. Well, I guess we should go this way and clear this out. Ooh, hello. We have lost the Imperial Essence Collection, but we have recollected it. And do you know why that is? That, my friends, is because Rivergate is our dear vassal. Now, this is the Cooperation Coordination tab that is new. I say new, it came with Ashes of Empires, and this is the first time I've done a playthrough since then where I can show it. <laughs> so, we can, if we're at war, we can select a target and tell them to attack now, which I believe requires Imperium. 
but otherwise they'll just start sending out stacks against that target. As of right now, we're not going to give them a target. We could tell them to defend our territory, that'd be funny. But we're going to let them chill, do their thing. Do as they please. And I am going to make a trade with them. The question is, what trade are we going to make? I suppose we'll go with production. I'm not sure who this will go to. Um, but that's okay. We could also boost. I want to say trading with them makes them like you more. We could also boost our allegiance, but I'm not going to. It is usually ill-advised to do that. Unless you are competing with somebody. So, a new rally has begun. So now, what we can do is we can take our Covenant of Shadows. Cast this on Rivergate. That'll ground us additional 15 knowledge, which brought this down to four turns. Fantastic. And anyone we get through this with the Rally of Lieges, can you attack that? Yeah, go ahead then. Actually, don't. Just kidding. None. Defend yourself. I'll come get that. And exploit your territory. Yes. Anyway, anything we recruit now from them using the rally over here. So the Huntsman or the Bannerman right now. Which the Bannerman might not be a bad idea. I don't have proper support units. We'll have Servile. Which I can... Ooh. I don't know about having a Bannerman and a... Succubus together. You will see the true might of Shadow of the East. Kamul and his Dol Guldur. My friends. I have a target for you. Also, thank you, game, for telling me where he is. Kind of sucks. He spawned right up here in the corner. Well. We have work to do. Who could have guessed the wannabe Witch King is going to prove his worth by slaughtering his old master's favorite pet? Tale as old as time, truly. Oh, nice. Did I go visit them? It looked like they were surrounded by... Lava, though. You guys look like you're fucked. Unless you have a way out? Which I don't think you do. Sucks to suck, bro. Alright, you can go on an auto-explore. Alrighty, we have another hero. Oh, by the way, heroes are changing. Um, Quite a lot, actually. Ooh, I want this. And thankfully, you are my person. Uh, warriors are, or heroes are changing, and it's actually a very interesting change. Oh, Kamul and Palando are at war. <laughs> oh, a war on two fronts. Historically, gone very poorly. Count Boyatrek, stern of the Free City Door, Macraz, greets you with some suspicion. Allow me to assess if this puny. Oh. Well. Congratulations, Galadriel. You have a tier 4 vassal. I'm so impressed. Anyway, as I was saying, currently, heroes, uh, there is a hero cap in the game, and you can go over it by just buying more heroes. When you go over it, you incur a penalty of both gold upkeep and imperium upkeep. However, speaking of heroes, the... Uh, Cap is raised by expanding with cities. In the next patch, the Wolf Update, accompanying the Primal Fury DLC on February 27th, they will be given to you over time. So on turn, in the dev stream, it was turn 11 and then turn 26 for their second and third hero caps, respectively. But you can spend Imperium on increasing it. On top of that, they now have a passive called Leadership Clash, where if a hero is in a party with another hero or a godir, they will deal less damage and be less effective. Which I think is very interesting to address the, I wouldn't call it a problem, but you know, people were hero stacking, they'd have six heroes in a stack and kind of go nuts. 
that addresses that. It's quite an interesting change, I think. But Heroes Coming Over Time was a thing in Age of Wonders 3 and Age of Wonders Planetfall, so it's just falling back in line with the older titles, which I always liked that system. But anyway, Dread Master Witch Beast, your heroine, a still bay dark eyed, kneels before you in distress. My little sister, she went dowsing for precious stones, yet never returned. I hope we get more events, because I've seen this many, many times. She migrated to the Shire when you recruited me. She has been prospecting for precious stones and metals since she was a wee girl, carrying around an oversized dowsing rod. Recently, the faraway gold vein caught her attention. Caught mine too. Normally, my sister returned to the sizable hall within three days. Today is the eighth day since she left. Is still the dark eyed eyes turns misty. Over. Okay. Will you help me find my sister, my dread master? I worry for her safety. Eh, yeah, sure, it's back near home anyway. That is actually a really good spawn, holy shit. How we feeling? We're feeling good. Ba -na 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 -na. You approach the castle carefully. It seems abandoned, but distraught voices can be heard from within the castle walls. Inside, you notice caged animals and a group of scarred captives. Scared captives, probably scarred too. Bound and guarded by captives led by Paish the Raven. The latter sees the witch beast and bows grinningly. And bows, grinning slyly. Ah, a customer, she says. Welcome to our humble merchant caravan. We are merely traders of a specific livestock. Are you interested in our merchandise? Well... You had better flee before you invoke the wrath of the spirits haunting this keep. The spirits that my master will allow me to bend. Sauron did roleplay as a necromancer for a little bit. In Dol Guldur, before he left it to Kamul. A little bit of history there. No wonder I feel such affinity to Sauron. Of course, he needed to go and fuck it up, didn't he? Well, no good thing lasts forever. And to be fair, Gandalf kind of has plot armor, so. Speaking of Gandalf's plot armor. Do you see what I see? Bonk. Then I just, uh... Yoink. Then I just yoink. Mm. I can seduce this. 60% chance. Mm. Easy game, easy life. Let's go assist our dragon. We'll get into a position. I'd love to shoot those things back there. We'll try and weaken that. I think I had one shot and I don't think it worked. Well, whatever. Oh, nice. Weaken the archer. Target tier 3 or lower enemy has a chance of instantly becoming killed. Nice. Let's throw a dagger, shall we? 50-50. Oh, it removed frozen. Well, that's fine. There's only one model left. Ooh. Double misses and it still killed him. Well. How unfortunate. placement, huh? That is incredibly annoying, isn't it? Hey, guess what, team? Oh, you have flanker. Oh, shit. That's amazing. Because these are all slowed, they aren't going to retaliate. Isn't that incredible? Is this a single target? No. I think I have one more turn to win this. Mm 
beacons and her defense burning. She's pretty good to me. Hmm. Shall I phantom dash the assassin or something? No need. Yeah. Hey, jeez. Oh, that shadow aura just freezing that guy. Oh, yeah. Well. We can get some light cavalry. Do we want some light cavalry? I don't think we do. You see, we can get cavalry of our own. The dark cavalry. Although I wouldn't mind replacing this unit. Hmm. It does have corpse eating as well. You know what? Let's take it. The slavers are gone, and the surviving captives flock around you appreciatively, yet anxiously. From amidst the captives, a townsman of the sharpshooting feline step forward and bow deeply. We are civilians under the protection of Bosenkrav. I don't think I gave these guys a stone. Are these the ones that are loyal to the dwarf? It might be. He says, We were ambushed on the roads near the castle and brought here. What do you plan to do with us? Witch beast. Oh, what indeed. Well, we could try to befriend Bosenkrab, but like I said, I'm pretty sure these guys are with the Dowie. So we'll capture the civilians yourself, intimidating Bosenkrab. Surprise! And I got a free spot. Would you look at that? Oh, they're neutral. Oh, shit. I should go conquer them right now. I'd have quite the connected city, wouldn't I? They are allied with the Dowie, by the way. I mean, you know, not like truly allied, but it's happening. And that's annoying, isn't it? Hmm. I think I can expand this far, but it's going to be a while. I don't believe the Shire can expand this far without the... Um, The traits. Which I'm not sure we'll get. We might, you never know. Stranger things have certainly happened. Like having Kamul declare on me, that was completely unexpected. Of all the people that declared. Well, that is infuriating. I have a feeling the Phoenix teleported in on this. Do I care though? I'm about to have Zephyr Archers. I don't. I don't care. By about to, I mean in two turns. I need to go home. I need to go home right now. Get the mausoleum. The interrogation dungeon is free. I love free stuff. Okay. Ace berries acquired again. We have two of them now, which of course doesn't do anything unless we had the item forge created, which we do not. I could make another succubus, but I think what we'll do is we'll just spawn a cutthroat to complete the roster of our great witch beast. And I definitely 100% should have gotten battlefield leading before that combat. Tom Bombadil has returned. And we have some remains. Ooh, the eagle bow. Let us sell. In fact, we should sell this as well. Well, he has trash. But we will. That'll give us a little bit of money. Fate brings us together once more. What questions burden you, witch beast? Ah. Tom Bombadil ending my rival with me randomly. Name a more iconic... You know what? I'll give it... Yeah, sure. The hearts of men is off fickle. Thank you, Galadriel. I realized I should be keeping this for my horde, but when I could just siphon gold off of you, this seems like a good idea. All right, you have trash. You want offensive act? 
intriguing. Sure, why not? Can you give me vision, actually? Just for the lulls. Thank you. All right, we gotta go back home. So, what do you see over here, Galadriel? You have a tree for a weapon, apropos. You are at war with the king of Erebor. I told you he was evil. Yeah. It would be funny if she lost. Unfortunate, but funny. All right, we got to go home. We have to go home in a very kind of annoying way. So I would need to be able to expand twice more, which I can, but it's going to be a while. What we'll do, since it's on the way, no, I'm on this tile. We'll build an outpost here just to get the the knowledge. Now I had a warlock to this army. My original warlock. Why can't I expand down here? Oh. Huh. You're being incredibly annoying. Kamul. Do I have a gold vein? I do not. Well, I need to have at least one. Wait, I can have one. I can just make one. Let's get a quarry down here. Double farm, double quarry. Forester. Once they get repaired. It's like, wait, wh what? Okay. Do I not have a quarry here? I do not. Good to know. A hero would like to join me, but unfortunately, heroes, I have no money. Rivalry between Galadriel and Palando. Rivalry between Tom and Camul. War between Tom and Denethor. Wow. And now we are bonded vassals, meaning this got... Better? Huh. Okay. I am pleased to see that you have seen the true colors of my rival, Palando. Galadriel, I'm respecting your assistance, but he was my rival first. Don't take this away from me. We may not be so different after all, a witch beast. Your actions are promising. Are they? You're angering me, witch beast. I'm warning you. If you keep going like this, I will see an end to your reign. Right. Yeah. Oh, look. Blint wants to declare on me. Now, wouldn't that be interesting? Because Blint is in a defensive pact with Galadriel, who's in a defensive pact with me. And if Blint is the aggressor, I'm like 97% sure she'll side with me. 97%. sure. We will immediately acquire the Bannerless Keep and build some walls. I won't convert this into a city. If I built it over here, I might have considered it. Because then I could have benefited from Metropolitan Society. Ooh, that might have been a good idea. We're going to have to sidetrack even further. And I'm already sidetracking. Upon arrival at the Gold Vein, it becomes clear that the spawn of a caustic worm hatched a few days ago. The gold vein is overrun with the writhing bodies of the young caustic worms. Their corrosive mucus oozes into the nearby fissures. The screech of their sire can be heard echoing from deep tunnels from which the young caustic worms hatched. The young caustic worms have been feasting on carrion bird, judging by the partially dissolved remains that litter the area. How could anyone survive this infestation? Is it foolish to believe that a still be dark-eyed sibling yet? Lives. 
Oh yeah, good job. Your troops search the area in tunnels. When they pass a crack beneath the central gold vein, someone whispers. Are they gone? A warlock crawls out of her hiding spot. I knew someone would come looking for me eventually. I hid down there for days, I think, eating larvae and slimy moss to survive. The girl chuckles and produces a satchel. But it was worth it. The tunnels surrounding this gold vein are teeming with rubies. Yes, rubies, exactly what gold veins are known for. The warlock sighs gratefully. For rescuing me, please accept the treasures I discovered. My skills are at the service of the Dread Master. Witch Beast. Of course, I'm taking that knowledge. That's Zephyr uh, Archer. Now, real quick. I don't remember exactly how this tome was buffed. But real quick. Is there anything else we're going to want? <laughs> There's Dust Storm. Blint's favorite ability. Blint of yours favorite ability. This could be good. This used to only affect on water, right? Now it's half on land. Interesting. And of course, I believe the Wind Rager was buffed somehow. I think. It might have been Whirlwind. Well, anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Breland can annex further. And Breland is in need of a quarry. How surprising. Is there a quarry that isn't other stuff? Sure. That boosted the estate. It did not boost the estate hall. It boosted the ritual mausoleum. The estate hall needs three foresters. That is very unlikely to ever come to pass. Our leader, the Dragon Lord, is continuing to get support stuff. Exciting, I know. I do have quite a lot of money if we want to get a third hero here. To put in our stack. Wait, where'd they go? No! They disappeared! Uh, we had a brave Hobbitses. It was a Materium Adept. Very well. We shall recruit an Orc. Who is lending her services on order of Lord Sauron. And she is going to be our archer. And I'm not giving you the cloak of displacement. Not even a little bit of a chance. Wow, this was bad. What a terrible roll for an archer. I suppose I could change my mind. I do have a Mithril Great Hammer. Fine. You're gonna go smack a bitch. With assassinate. Orcs are good holding the line for our our weak hobbitses. The hobbits are willing, but the flesh is weak. They don't have scales like me, which is definitely something that they totally have. On top of this, she is an astral adept, meaning, well, she'll give me 20 mana, that's nice. But we are going down the tree, the astral tree all of a sudden. Huh. Master Masons. Not a bad one to pick. Um, I'd like to wait, though. I'd like to wait. Shadow Binding won't be burn. Dane Ironfoot has withdrawn to the Astro Void, meaning Galadriel was victor... What is this army? Galadriel was victorious! Does it matter what the army was? Blint has crossed you. Of course he has. Fantastic. Rivalry between Galadriel and Denethor. Friendship between Tom and Dane. I'm beginning to see the lines being drawn. I was thinking of you, witch beast. We have much in common. Perhaps we can bring our empires closer. 
perhaps we can, in service to the Dark Lord Sauron. Especially if you have... Hmm. I prefer something else right now, but that's okay. We need to go underground as well. Do you have any? No. Ah. Now that is an interesting orb. I kind of respect that orb. You know what, I'll take this. For once, there was something useful, and it's mostly because I don't have an item shrine yet. Or an item forge. I'm too busy. Not dying. Okay, you're gonna stay there. Is that Kamal himself? Oh, shit. We're working on it. My domain has been invaded. I am aware. I really wanted this, but it's gonna have to wait. Tom. Try it, Kamul. I have a lot of, for once, a lot of defense because of Draconic Governor. Magistrate Silvani Auror, Auror, of the Free City Risen Hall acknowledges you with an elegant courtesy. Really? Oh. Your overlord is Dane, but you are an elf of Lothlorien. That must wound Galadriel's soul. I wish I could see the look on her face. I don't believe there's a world where they can do anything too creative here. So, we'll do it while we can. Ooh. Thralls of Darkness. Tier 1 units gain Servile. Enchanted support units can siphon the strength. Yeah, sure. We're going to have some support units. You know, we can't make any, right? But we have a nymph. We can get some on the succubus, I believe. Counts, right? Yeah, the succubus counts. We can get some um, fairies if I can ever freaking afford them. We have options. Not a lot of options, mind you, but options. I'm not going to build anything in my capital city yet. Because we're kind of... Alondo the Betrayer has begun negotiations with Effencraz. Well, we can't have that, can we? But it's 104 to boost. I think we'll be okay if we don't do anything, because we're so far ahead already. Yeah, we just got our Pact of Cooperation. Archon Blood. I could give them a hefty amount of mana to gain gold, but I think we're okay. We may not be so different after all, which is... Oh, well, I said I'm trading. Oh, you have a rock on your arm now. Weird. Do you have anything to offer me? Anything at all? No? Alright, fair enough. I was complimented. A diplomatic approach will assure victory. Will it? I hope it will. I'm a little worried that my, um... My horde is growing slowly. I'm using that to get a Zephyr Archer. <laughs> you think befriending Effencraz will help secure your path to victory? No, not really, Blen. Alright. I feel bad for Buckland. They're being, like... They're being harried and harassed by infestations, by Kamul... Oh, well, that was dumb. Hey, look, they also took this tome. Really? Okay. Oh, look, Camilla's fling. He knows. 
You know you are outnumbered, outdone, and still you raid my lands. Pathetic. Know your betters. I can't reach that. Actually, I can. Take it back. With our flying monstrosity. You killed my warlock? Hmm. That's kind of unacceptable. So we captured a unit. I didn't pay attention to what it was. But our nymph did work. Hmm. Looks like it's all trash. Although the warrior wouldn't be bad. Feels good not having to do weird, like, positional stuff. I'm also talking about this. Alright, Serinda. You are here because Lord Sauron has asked to aid me. I expect perfection. Oh. Alrighty. I was told not to underestimate Sundering Curse. And I mean, I, I agree. I agree. It would be a foolish thing to do. You know what we can do? We can have fun. Swing. Oh, you got that from behind. Wow, okay. And then... Phantom Dash. Get over here. And smack. Hmm. Let's poke from behind. And then... Death. It is the end. Escapable in that awaits all mortals. Ooh, really? Okay. Shall I try again? I can do this. Easy. Turn around, please. Thank you. You're so Kind and considerate. Mm. Shot through the heart. Well, back of the hands. Same thing. Yeet. Going well so far, I think. You can hang out back here, little spoder. The reason I wanted the spider was because of its evolution. It goes into a tier 4 spider matriarch. And I got a gremlin without having to go to the Tome of Misfortune. Would you look at that? Well, I have to uh, choose if I would like to keep it permanently. And I would. Okay, let's get you, you, and you in here. Excuse me? Oh, the Nif can't move. That's fine. Well, now that I have rescued the city, I wish I could chase down Camille. We'll start building the tower. And we'll get... Shall we get Experienced Leader? Crime Lord. The Chief Witch of Heroes Governing gains 25 gold income and minus 10 city stability. Yeah, okay. You can be a Crime Lord. Your name is literally Dark-Eyed. Friendship between Dane and Tom. War between Dane Ironfoot and Denethor II. Wow, okay. It's really popping off. I could get a succubus. And to think, I wanted 
Lol. I wanted to come home and kill all of the excess stuff threatening me, and lo and behold, Kamul is the one threatening me. Alright, this is just a random assassin. That's what we'll do. While you are planning your strategy against your war opponent, Kamul, a Bexton Hillcrest of Rivergate, your vassal, contacts you. The duke kneels before you, averting his eyes. Your battles are my own. You're my dread master, as they ought be. You are my overlord, and I your humble vassal. Bexton lifts his head, and his piercing gaze inspires you. With the strength of Rivergate at your side, we will claim victory over Camul. You are a good liege master to me and my raiding rodents, my dread master. How can I aid you in this war? Ooh. Okay. That's a lot of draft. That's a lot of allegiance. All I require is your support as my vassal, Bexton. That instantly bumped him up. Yep. We're about to have a supreme vassal on turn 40 as an evil character. Oh, well, probably turn... Turn what? 45? That's kind of impressive. Um, I'll boost this. Sure. There's an argument for boosting. I know I said earlier. <laughs> Babe, didn't you earlier say that it's not a good idea? I did. And hear me out. I want to murder you brutally. And I want this to be okay. How dare you siege my city! I will break your skull! Manually, of course. Um, it's probably a little overkill to bring all of that to kill the one assassin. And if I had thought about that for longer than five seconds, this would be an easier fight. But that's okay. Because I'm confident in our efforts. Especially since I have this for some reason. This will be fun. Uh, so about improving your allegiance with Imperium. There are two thought processes to it. One is that it's never a good idea unless you are competing with another ruler. Because, you know, it'll raise eventually, and you'd rather not cost Imperium. I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? Huh. Interesting. That's cool. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, so you know, you know, never do it unless you are competing against somebody is one way to look at it, and perhaps an accurate way to look at it. But the other way to look at it I guess I just shift this direction, don't I? The other way to look at it is if I can get a vassal faster I should just try to seduce them. If I can get a vassal faster, then they start paying me faster. And there's less chance someone's going to steal it from me. So I guess whichever train of thought you have really depends, is incredibly dependent upon how you value your Imperium or how your Imperium generation is going at the moment. I'd like to try and kill this. I can. Assassin v. Assassin. Fantastic. We'll go here. In defense. Just hit him once. Try and weaken them. Okay. What a throw. Miss me. Oh, you're a cannibal. That's fine. Draconic Rage is active. 
I don't appreciate the misfortune because it's fully juiced. But I'm pretty sure. Like 97% sure. That I can remove that. Kind of want to freeze. And I kind of want to teleport. Hmm. I could walk away from this. What does this look like again? Can I do something with this? I can? Go here. No. I cannot. Hmm. Well, let's just see what our damage looks like here, shall we? I probably should try to set up an assassinate. Oh boy. I have to get out of here with this with the dragon, I think. Unless... 35%, ooh. Nailed it! Ah, the nymph. You can always count on her when the going gets tough. Let's go for the kill, right? Although those are Sunderers, but... Don't count them out, you know? Now, I do have a new skill. I have a few new skills. This effect passes on to another enemy than two hexes. There you go. Oops. So this is from the, the tome. We picked it up. There you go. And of course, probably should have done that first was going to, but now their next two attacks are guaranteed fumbles. Which will stack very well with Misfortune, by the way. With the updated Misfortune. Never explain what it does. What it's going to do is it does what it does now. Or it will do what it does now. But. Oh, were you frozen by my aura? That's incredible. Um, but. Each time. Yeah. A person fumbles, they will take eight physical damage. It's literally, why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? DEATH! Huh. Why are you hitting yourself? DEATH! Right. Bonk. You better believe this is going to be mine, by the way. 100%. Oh. I've converted the goblins to my side. Goblins. Ooh. Yes, eat the corpse. Bonk. That went well. I still feel like our dragon needs more health, but... Yep. Thralls... Uh, I could have cast this. Thralls of Darkness is in... Oh, I kind of want to roll in. Just get all the stuff from that tome. Take forever. It'll be fine. I actually can go in here and attack him with the assassin. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. We're recovering, team. We're healing. Our wounds are mending. Okay. I think we're stabilizing, finally. Uh, let's get a watchtower here. Sorrenta has leveled up. And we're gonna give her... Oh, you need Cold of the Week. Silly me. We have captured Marga, the self. I love this weapon. 
The Staff of the Magi is one of my favorite weapons in the whole game. I'm not saying I regret my choices now, but I'm just saying. If I get another hero, that'd be nice. Other rulers made a defensive pact. Ooh, Blinden Dane. Interesting. This realm would be better off without the likes of you, witch beast. Well. Rivalry between Kamul and Galadriel. War between Tom and Kamul. Let it be known that Galadriel has crossed me. I don't know why you're telling me. I'm her friend and your enemy. Yeah. Well. What a start it's been. <laughs> it's been a... Ooh. I wonder if this stacks. So we, this, this building, this weird dark building. Can I see it here? Yeah, so it gives City's Ability, which is a newer thing, uh, a good change. But it gives plus five knowledge income, just flatline. But you get plus two knowledge income per hero in the prison. And I wonder if that's plus two knowledge per hero in the prison per city? Because that'd be plus six knowledge out of thin air. Hmm. It might be worth keeping people in the prison. Which uh, is totally something the witch beast would do. Fill the prisons to the brim. Let Sauron know who serves him. And who does not. Oh, look at you, Kamul. You're bringing me another gremlin. Isn't that cute? Isn't that adorable? I believe you get a step on these and end the... Uh, the rebuilding, which is kind of annoying. Well, we definitely need to come together and make sure that wherever we are, whoever gets attacked, everyone gets pulled in. It looks like that's the case. Good. Now let's get these two in here. Double assassin. Our assassin will show the other assassin how to be a proper assassin, though. With thralls of darkness, our tier 1 units will gain servile. Which, really not that big of a deal, I don't think, but maybe that'll make them useful. But the real reason I wanted to cast it is now all of our support units can siphon strength. The target enemy unit has a 60% chance to suffer two weakened. We can also target a friendly servile unit, which they'll suffer five weakened with no resistance chance. And then this unit will gain the amount of strength and based on how much weakened they stole. And then they can give that to somebody else. So, that could be fun. If nothing else, it could be a, a two weakened straight to the face. So, that was my thinking. You're going to chill for a turn. A Zephyr Archer is coming out next turn. We definitely want another one. And I think we're going to put a Blacksmith in. After the Wizard Tower is complete. A new Empire skill is available. It is the one. The only. The best skill in the game. Ladies and gentlemen. Advanced Logistics. Ah. And we can now integrate our flourishing vassal, if we desired. This would be a pretty interesting integration. It looks like it upset Galadriel, who is already on four cities. Wow. She's doing well. Denethor is on his way to four as well. Hmm. We need to see if we can match that. It wouldn't be that hard. But I think what I want to do is I think I want to teach Kamul a lesson. That sounds like fun, doesn't it? We can also summon in Cutthroats to just be like a a supply of tier 1 servile units if we desire. If we're interested in that. We can make it happen. Kind of like how a Necromancer... A dick. Kind of like how a Necromancer can create like an endless army of chaff skeletons. We can do that, but with Cutthroats. Look at him. The Craven Dog. Ooh. 
A defensive pact between Tom and Polondo. No. I was like, where the hell is this coming from? It's over there somewhere. Okay. Not interested. Our first Zephyr Archer. Ha Look at this movement. Oh, it's so dirty. It's magnifique. And I think it's time for us to teach Kamul a very important lesson. Why he was not the first Witch King, nor is he the first master we serve. That's fine. I think I'm going to go gold mine here. That's kind of annoying. I think that's his. It's not mine. But, um... With all these mines, we can build the... Uh, well, okay, I meant gold... What I said is we're going to go gold mine because I built a gold mine. Good job, Fabe. What I meant was... I think we're going to go merchant guild here. We'll go merchant guild here. Fishing guild here. Maybe. Depends on how aggressive Polanda being. And then we might go research guild here. If we can. And we only have two research nodes. But, um. What should I go here? We'll see. We'll see. It depends on what the tomes give us, you know? Definitely gonna go black market, I think. But we'll start with the Arcane Institute. Maybe we still go research guild, doesn't matter. But. The war against Gamul is about to begin in earnest. Shall we see if he attempts to stop me? Can he read the writing on the walls or not? I have a feeling he can't. Ooh. That is a siege? Oh yeah, right there. But the war against Kamul and his capital city of Flintwall is all for next time. I was clicked on the wrong person. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. The Witch Beast has established himself and the diplomatic lines are being drawn. Show of hands if you expect the Galadriel to stand with me. And don't lie. Oh, who could have seen that? Of all of the people. Really? Really? Thank you to the patrons and the channel members of the Bullet Channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay up the you haven't, you know, feel free to join the Discord in the description down below. And I will see you next time to face off against the wannabe Witch King. Bye.